Testosterone cypionate has, as you would say, a magical property. Testosterone cypionate has something that none of the other esters have. And this is also, guys, why in the EU, in Europe, in the UK, um, all over, even in the Middle East, I believe, companies are switching from enanthate to cypionate, and cypionate is getting more picked up and more well-known. Why? Yeah, yeah, what's going on, guys? Seth Spartan here, nutrition, training, and hormone expert, and Prometheus Pro Bodybuilder. Guys, today we are back to answering your questions, which is, what is the best type of testosterone? What is the best type of testosterone ester? Let's get started. Guys, I'm going to give you the quick answer in one minute, and then I'm going to go into a longer answer uh, for those of you that want more information. So, here we go. All right, guys, to answer your question, the best type of testosterone is without a doubt, testosterone cypionate right here. I would circle this, but I've got too much other stuff on the board. But testosterone cypionate is by far the best type of testosterone um, for a number of reasons, and I'm going to be going through those reasons now. All right, guys. So one thing I want to make clear is, is that um, I have the three most common, most popular types of testosterone on the board. These are not the only types, but these are the three types uh, that I want to focus on uh, instead of sustenon and others. But the fact remains true that testosterone cypionate is the best type for TRT, for bodybuilding, for HRT, and everything else. So let's get into the longer answer now. Here we go. All right, guys. So there's a couple factors to consider when choosing what kind of testosterone. Number one reaction, human reaction to, uh, depending on uh, the type of ester, number two, potency, number three, injection frequency, and four, any additional um, effects or side effects um, when using that type of esterified testosterone. So number one, guys, let's talk right about reaction. So this is usually the number one concern is reaction or human reaction in response to testosterone esters. Now, testosterone cypionate and testosterone enanthate are pretty well handled um, about equally around the world. You know, uh, whether it's Europe, United States, or anywhere else, testosterone cypionate and enanthate both have tons and tons of medical studies, tons of uh, safety profiles. Um, testosterone cypionate, both testosterone cyp and enanthate are both equally across the board, safe, effective. Um, very, very low uh, uh, human reaction profile. Having said that, uh, testosterone propionate is not. Testosterone propionate has a very high, very high um, reaction rate um, as far as um, injection reaction. Um, and guys, this is something to note here, is the reason that testosterone propionate is actually not, no longer manufactured or used in the U.S. and under any name brands. We're talking, you know, Pfizer, um, Bio, well, same company, but Pfizer or any of the bigger companies, um, Humana. The reason that testosterone propionate is no longer used in the United States and most of the world anymore. Like, for example, if I were to go to a Walgreens or a CVS, uh, they would have testosterone cypionate in stock on the shelf. Uh, but they will not carry testosterone propionate anymore, and that is because of the high amount of adverse uh, injection reactions. Namely, testosterone propionate, um, basically after injection, uh, you know, for TRT, HRT, um, whatever, uh, a lot of people get terrible swelling, lots of swelling, lots of pain. Um, it's just a painful ester in general. So it's not the testosterone, obviously, it's the propionate itself. The propionate is just very um, aggravating to tissue in general. Now, some people, you know, love propionate. Uh, some people don't mind propionate. Uh, you know, 
Matt Fry, uh, you know, when he gets uh, his test prescriptions, uh, you know, he loves propionate. Um, not that it really matters, but that point aside, you know, some people are fine with it, but most people, it's painful, uh, painful lumps, painful swelling. It's just a painful ester in general. That's just how it is, right? And that's the reason the U.S. no longer stocks propionate. Uh, moving on from reaction, let's talk about potency. All right, guys, so there's a couple things to talk about with potency. Um, number one, let's just go right into the science. So every testosterone available, because I don't think in the U.S. or the European countries, as far as I know, they do not carry uh, testosterone suspension or testosterone dissolved in oil. That's a completely, uh, that's like, you know, maybe... 0.5% of uh, all testosterone products, so it's not even worth mentioning at this time. Having said that, all testosterones are the same. They all carry the testosterone molecule. The only difference is what ester is attached onto that molecule, um, as you guys know. Now, depending on the ester, and this is where things uh, start getting scientific. Now, depending on the ester, propionate, cypionate, enanthate, uh, decoinate, uh, sustin on the different esters, um, the esters all have a different weight. Why is this? You know, well, propionate is designed to be a shorter acting, shorter release ester. It just makes sense that that attached ester is going to be smaller, less mass, less volume. It's going to take up less space or less weight of the total. So above here, you guys can see, you know, I've ranked each testosterone by terms of um, how much of each milligram is... Uh, is testosterone or the ester by weight. So for example, testosterone propionate. Every, every milligram is going to be 80% testosterone and 20% propionate, which means that 80% of the weight is going to be testosterone, 20% is propionate. Now propionate is obviously just the ester. It's just there to be cleaved off by the body um, to give you uh, the release into the bloodstream over time, uh, obviously via intramuscular or sub-Q injection. Um, and that is 4.5 days. Um, so that's by weight. Testosterone cypionate, you can tell a big difference here, 69% to 31% um, by weight. So obviously this ester is far bigger than propionate. Having said that, let's look at testosterone and nenthate. Testosterone and nenthate, 70%. Uh, testosterone by weight, 30% and nenthate by weight. So um, the thing to look at, yeah, obviously testosterone propionate, milligram per milligram is going to be more potent than testosterone cypionate or enanthate. But here's the catch, guys. You take the most common or the highest concentration propionate, cypionate, and enanthate available. We'll just go by most common. Most common, 100 milligrams per milliliter. A lot of countries, it's 75 milligrams per milliliter. Then you take testosterone cypionate. Most Good hormone replacement clinics, uh, most brands, uh, um, well, most most testosterone manufacturing is now occurring by uh, by compounding pharmacies, uh, less by Pfizer and bigger companies. Having said that, um, testosterone cypionate, most commonly now you'll be finding about 250 milligrams per milliliter, sometimes 200 if you're picking up your prescription, example from your local Walgreens or CVS, um, but you know, testosterone cypionate, right around usually 250 milligrams per ml. Testosterone nenthate, most common, is 200 milligrams per ml. Um, so, so in the grand scheme of things, yes, gram per gram, milligram per milligram, testosterone propionate is the most potent just because the ester does not weigh as, as much of the total weight. But guys, compared to 100 milligrams per ml versus 250 or 200 with a nenthate, the most potent is still going to be by by ml testosterone cypionate so it's just another reason inject less volume um and just make things easier so reaction you know testosterone in terms of reaction testosterone cypionate and enanthate are completely tied um in terms of potency testosterone cypionate wins out again um just because the most common especially if you live in the u.s um formulation is now becoming the 250 milligrams per ml. Um, anyways, having said that, injection frequency. Now, this is 
everything to do with half-lives, half-lives, right guys? So testosterone propionate, shorter half-life, obviously, uh, 4.5 days, testosterone cypionate, eight days, testosterone nenthate, seven days. Well, testosterone nenthate and cypionate are pretty much, for lack of um, nitpicking, they're pretty much tied in terms of half-life. You're not going to notice a one-day half-life. So, you know, it comes down to how often do you have to inject. Now, a lot of people, you know, on HRT, on TRT, younger and older alike, you know, you want the option to either inject uh, once per week or twice per week. Um, different doctors, obviously, Prometheus HRT, they advise twice a week, a more stable profile. Um, I'm going to give you guys some ways and um, also not just ways, but I'm going to give you guys protocols, doctor approved, that you can inject once a week while still being able to keep your blood levels stable by taking HCG later in the week or taking your HCG dosage all at one time later in the week. We'll talk about that though in depth later on. So anyways, um, so in terms of injection frequency, you know, for HRT, for TRT, you want the, you, you want the option to be able to inject once or twice a week. You don't have that with propionate. Okay. So, you know, when it comes to injection frequency, Again, testosterone, cypionate, and testosterone and then they went out here. Now, if we're going to talk about um, additional, additional sides or any additional things of note, testosterone cypionate has, as you would say, a magical property. Testosterone cypionate has something that none of the other esters have. And this is also, guys, why in the EU, in Europe, in the UK, um, all over, even in the Middle East, I believe, companies are switching from enanthate to cypionate, and cypionate is getting more picked up and more well-known. Why? Why is the question? Well, cypionate has this magical property, and I want to clarify, guys. Cypionate has been used in the U.S. primarily, uh, you know, since testosterone began um, being produced for HRT or TRT or anything else. Um, and in Europe and in the UK, enanthate had been the primary. That's pretty much all they used over there. Uh, you can talk to Dorian Yates about that or watch his videos. Um, having said that, guys, the reason that Europe is now switching from enanthate and the UK, they're all switching to from enanthate to cypionate is because testosterone cypionate has this magical property, I'm going to call it magical, where the ester and the formulation of testosterone cypionate itself is actually way, way thinner, way more viscous, if you would, or wrong terminology. It's way thinner than you would if you were using a testosterone and nanthate. Wow, why is this? Guys, just the ester structure, um, as long as the uh, either the compounding pharmacy or um, uh, the main brand, testosterone cypionates, as long as they're being put in a decent carrier oil, um, testosterone cypionate is going to be way thinner. You know, it's instead of testosterone and nenthate, testosterone and nenthate is usually a, a thicker oil, takes longer to inject, it's just a pain in the butt, really. Um, testosterone cypionate is going to be way thinner, no matter what oil it's mixed in, um, comparably with testosterone and nenthate. So, again, testosterone cypionate on all four of these marks is by far the superior uh, choice for HRT, TRT, or if testosterone is legal in your country. Um, you know, recreational use, although even if it is, I would consult with your doctor and be doctor monitored regardless anytime you're messing with your hormones. But having said that, guys, testosterone cypionate is by far the best type of testosterone and the best type of testosterone ester. Guys, feel free to look this stuff up. Um, and it's pretty cool, like I said, that Europe and even the UK is switching to the American, all-American form of testosterone, which is testosterone cypionate. So again, uh, for TRT, HRT, anything really, testosterone cypionate is by far the best testosterone. Guys, that's pretty much it, and we are out of here.